Today we'll be reading The Tale of King Amun from The Tales of the Jedi Companion by George R. Straton. The Tale of King Amun Capsule King Amun rose to power in the same manner as his ancestors of the last three centuries, by dominating the populace of Onderon with the dark side. A direct descendant of the Sith Freedon Nad, who ruled the world for more than fifty years, Amun had the ability to call on Nad's spirit so that he might learn and master the ways of the dark side and the Sith. When his father passed into the Force, Amun took his rightful position as ruler of Aziz and married Lady Aminoah, the beautiful daughter of a wealthy noble. Not too long afterward, Aminoah gave birth to Gallia, the only heir Amun would ever have. But the king had by this time lost interest in the mundane activities of daily life. His dark side training under the tutelage of Freedon Nad had begun in earnest. Eventually, Amun became a moderately powerful Sith sorcerer, but in the effort had lost control of his own body. A metal armature replaced his bones and muscle, a device that would lead to his demise. The young Jedi Ulic Keldroma destroyed the apparatus, and Amun collapsed, helpless. The spirit of Freedon Nad appeared and absorbed the fallen king into the dark side of the Force. Good. The wispy image of Freedon Nad hissed, the sibilant slicing through the Undercity's maze of passageways. King Amun concentrated harder, bolstered by his mentor's praise. He could indeed feel the subtle ebbs and flows of the thronging masses in the city above, just as Nad had said. As he continued to absorb the sensations of millions of beings engrossed in their daily activities, he began to notice tiny pinpricks of violence and hatred erupting randomly across the whole of his ease. The dark outburst called to him, drew his thoughts near, asked him for reinforcement. Amun felt a wave of power rush through him, felt the dark side intertwine with his own essence, and he knew then that he could command the Force to do as he willed. His hands gripped his throne's knobbed armrest tighter, and he plunged deep into himself, losing his corporeal existence to embrace the metaphysical. The world about him quickly faded into a misty coalescence, giving him the slight discomforting feeling of being disconnected. But the emotion lingered for only a moment before he brushed it aside and focused on his current ambition. He surged forward, delving deeper into himself, until he came to what he could only describe as a barrier. It seemed to ripple as if constructed of gossamer, and yet it possessed a strength of a tempered steel alloy. Amun paused before the barricade, suddenly unsure. Weakling, Nad spat from the periphery of Amun's consciousness. You will never reach your potential if you falter at the slightest obstacle. Beyond that wall lies your destiny. Beyond that wall lies the full power of the dark side. If you do not have the strength to reach it, then you do not deserve to become a Sith sorcerer. Amun's anger flared. He had come so far in so short a time, and yet Nad expected more, more than any Onderanian could possibly offer. Had Amun's ancestors penetrated the Force so quickly? And if they had, how could they have survived? The dark side offered much, but stole away more. Amun did not know if he could give that much of himself. Nad's voice rose up once more. Your doubt will be your downfall, Amun. This time, the words held an air of seduction, a warm inviting tone that Amun felt inexplicably drawn to. You are ready. There is nothing to fear. The hiss of Nad's voice seemed to swirl about his mind settling somewhere to the side, both within and without the confines of Amun's consciousness. Strike now, Nad shouted suddenly. Come to the dark side now, when it calls, or you will have failed. The dark side will forever shun you, the weak-minded fool who believed he had the right to wield its power. Amun had sacrificed more than he had thought he ever would in his quest to make the dark side his ally. And now, all of his efforts hung on a single moment, his one chance to prove his worthiness, as if all he had done before meant nothing. The dark side had torn away so much of his life, he could not let it slip from his grasp, laughing at how it had pillaged him 
and left him nothing more than a broken husk, bereft of its life essence. He could not let that happen. His anger became both his weapon and his armor as he bludgeoned the barrier before him. The wall rippled wildly under the attack, but did not give way. Amun redoubled his effort, pulled the hatred of everything, including the dark side from the depths of his soul, channeling it into his blows. Then suddenly, the wall ripped open. Before Amun could react, he was sucked through, carried by a force more powerful than he could have ever imagined. The dark side immediately flooded his being, becoming one with every cell in his body. The image of the city above returned to him then, and he assaulted the pinpricks of evil scattered across cityscape with flares of dark side energy. The already vile incidents instantly grew worse, the individuals involved momentarily filled with a foreign hatred. Amun watched in both awe and horror. He realized then that he was invincible with the dark side at his back. Nothing could topple him. Nothing could harm or destroy him ever again, not even the dark side itself. His normal vision returned, and he saw the ghostly form of Frieden Nad hovering close by. Amun felt stronger than he ever had, and he wanted to show his mentor what he had accomplished. He pushed himself up from his ancient throne and then collapsed under his own weight, his legs no longer able to support him. Nad made a deep staccato sound that Amun could only guess was laughter. <laughs> the dark side does not come without its price, the Sith spirit said. You have power over the Force, but in exchange you have lost power over your own body. Nad had warned him of the dark side's initiation tithe a decade ago when his training had begun. He couldn't remember whether he had chosen to accept that price, or whether he had purposely sealed it away in the recesses of his memory. It didn't matter now, anyway. He had finally reached his goal. The dark side belonged to him. Unfortunately, he belonged to the dark side as well. I hope you've enjoyed this reading of The Tale of King Amun.